So what's the probability of Google DeepMind winning? Well, I don't see it as sort of winning. I mean, I think we need to think winning is the wrong way to look at it, given how important and consequential what it is we're building. So funnily enough, I don't, I try not to view it like a game or competition, even though that's a lot of my mindset. It's it's about, in my view, all of us, have those of us at the leading edge, uh, have a responsibility to um, steward this unbelievable technology that could be used for incredible good, but also has risks, um, steward it safely into the world for the benefit of humanity. That's always um, what I've um, uh, I dreamed about and what we've always tried to do. And I hope that's what eventually the community, maybe the international community, will Will rally around when it becomes obvious that as we get closer and closer to to AGI that um, that's what's needed. I agree with you. I think that's beautifully put. You've said that um, you talk to and are on good terms with the leads of some of these uh, labs as the competition heats up. Uh, how hard is it to maintain sort of those relationships? It's been okay so far. I try to pride myself in being uh, collaborative. I'm a collaborative person. Research is a collaborative endeavor. Science is a collaborative endeavor, right? It's all good for humanity in the end if you cure incredible, you know, terrible diseases and you come up with an incredible cure. This is net win for humanity. And the same with energy, all of the things that I'm interested in in, in helping solve with AI. So I just want that technology to exist in the world and be used for the right things. And, and, and the, the kind of the benefits of that, the productivity benefits of that being shared for every, the benefit of everyone. So I try to maintain good relations with all the leading lab uh, people. They have very interesting characters, many of them, as you yeah. might expect. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm on good terms, I, I hope, with pretty much all of them. And uh, I, I think that's going to be important when, when things get even more serious than they are now, uh, that there are those communication channels. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's what will facilitate uh, cooperation or collaboration if that's what requ is required, especially on things like safety. Yeah, I hope there's some collaboration on stuff that's uh, sort of less high stakes and in so doing serves as a mechanism for maintaining friendships and relationships. So, for example, I think the internet would love it if you and Elon somehow collaborate on creating a video game, that kind of thing. Right. That I think that enables camaraderie and good terms. And also you two are legit gamers, so it's just fun to... Yeah. Yeah, that would be good. awesome. And we've talked about that in the past and it may be a cool thing that, that you know, we can do. And I agree with you. It'd be nice to have um, kind of side projects in a way where where one can just lean into the collaboration aspect of it. And it's a sort of win-win uh, for both sides. And it's um, and it, it kind of builds up that, that, that uh, collaborative muscle. I see the scientific endeavor as that kind of side project for humanity. Yeah. And I, I think Deep, Google DeepMind has been really pushing that. Uh, I would love it if to see other labs do more scientific stuff and then collaborate because it just seems like easier to collaborate on the big scientific questions. I agree. And uh, I would love to see a lot of people, a lot of the other labs talk about science, but I think we're really the only ones yeah. using it for science and doing that. And that's why projects like AlphaFold are so important to me. And I think to our mission is to show uh, how AI can this, you know, be clearly used in a very concrete way for the benefit of humanity. And and also we spun out companies like Isomorphic off the back of AlphaFold to do drug discovery and it's going really well and build sort of, you know, you can think of build additional AlphaFold type, type systems to go into chemistry space to help accelerate drug design. And the examples I think we need to show uh, and society needs to understand are where AI can bring these huge benefits. Well, from the bottom of my heart, thank you for pushing the scientific efforts forward with, with rigor, with fun, with humility, all of it. I just love to see it. And still talking about PE equals MP, I mean, it's just incredible. So I love it.